What is going on guys, Nistia here back in another video for you guys and today we have a set review for the uh, new set that came out today. Well actually yesterday because you're watching on Saturday but it came out yesterday on Friday and that set is um, New Year's Resolution sets. I, that's kind of weird because I've never heard that before. Her, heard of that being a set name before but whatever and it's weird because they marketed that set as in a Rajon Rondo you know base set so we all thought it was one by Boston Celtics uh, or Rajon Rondo spotlight series which I'm still upset about they haven't released a new spotlight series because it's been two weeks since we got Kareem so I, why haven't we got you know the new spotlight series but you know it is is what it is uh, next week hopefully Fender Strost is Y'all know I love my Spotlight series, so. But we're going to go over this uh, real quick. And by the way, all these cards are Evo cards. So, you know, that's cool if you like Evo and cards. In my opinion, I'm kind of like in, in, in the middle about it because um, I am for, you know, getting players that you like in real life. And, you know using them a lot and then making them higher tiers that and then like because they're your favorite player and you use that card a lot you know you have some a little bit of emotional attachment to it or whatever you want to call it but at the same time when you're just trying to evolution cards to evolution cards you know what i mean like it, 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 it just burns you out of the game like you just get burned out of playing 2k and that's not fun for anybody so and you know what's good about these is that it's really not that hard to evo these cards at all so, we're going to start out with Andre Roberson. Um, he's a Sapphire, goes up to a, a Ruby, I want to say. Uh, because not all these cards go up to the next tier. A lot of them stay the same tier. They just go up like a couple more overalls, or maybe just one overall more. <laughs> but, this Andre Roberson is a Sapphire. He's really, uh, he's really good for a Sapphire. He's got 14 uh, gold badges. Uh, but, you know, that's Andre Roberson. Gonna be a beast on defense. And, uh, nothing... Nothing really offensively that I can see. Speed with ball, I guess, is okay. Can't speed boost. No mid? How do you... I don't know. <laughs> I hopefully, like, I, I already know that... Actually, I'm just gonna... I'm, I'm curious to see what, what this guy... What, it, what it's like, so I'm gonna... I'm gonna do this real quick. Alright, so I just bought Andre Robeson for 950. Um, so we're gonna see what he's all about. So I'm gonna add him to, to my collection. Uh, almost added it out there. We're gonna go down here to. So you have to make 10 three pointers with him. That is honestly gonna be pretty hard because he has a 53 pointer. Now, to get him up to a Ruby, you. Well, you need to make 10 three-pointers, but once he gets up to a ruby, he gets an 88 three-pointer, which is really good. Um, although I don't know if he has any badges or not, any shooting badges. Um, an 80, an 88 free throw, <clears throat> and a 90 mid, and an 88 shot close. So... I don't, I need to look at these badges again because I didn't look at his badges. And he doesn't get any badges when he uh, gets upgraded anyway. So, yeah, there's no point about, no point in that. But if he has shooting badges, then it'd be good. Good thing he has Flitcher all, thank God, because eventually Tute is just going to have to realize that they messed up putting that in the game. He has no shooting badges. This card is a fat L. Unless you're like just getting him for defense because and he didn't he doesn't even have hall of fame uh you know defensive badges so i don't i don't even know if that's 
like great if you're just like a budget baller like you and I mean you're really a budget baller and you know that, that's all right but I'm just saying like uh, yeah for you know unless you're like lost in the set I really don't see you know the normal person you know picking this guy up he doesn't even have any shooting badges so the 88 three-pointer isn't really going it's going to do a little bit but ain't gonna do a whole lot without you know at least like gold or silver like shooting badges so yeah that's that that's i, I wouldn't recommend out there and i just lost 950 mt for that sake of this video uh but it is what it is so looks like this guy is going for not that much so michael Farrell williams he looks to be interesting i'm not gonna lie um, I'm gonna see if I can pick him up real quick for the sake of this video, too. Alright, so we're gonna pick up Michael Turtle Williams for the same price as we did Andre Roberson. Um, we're gonna add him to my collection because he, I don't know, for, ever, for whatever reason, Michael Turtle Williams, all his cards, you know, they always intrigue me a little bit because, uh, I don't know, he seems like, because I really liked him as a player when he was playing his first year. You know, he was good, and then something, something happened. I don't know what happened, to be honest with you. I, I always, I always hit, uh, I always was a fan of him, uh, you know, a little bit. Uh, so, here's Michael Tart Williams. We're going to over his, his stats real quick. Made 10 three-pointers, and he has 21 gold badges. That's pretty good, not gonna lie. He just finishing badges... Um, doesn't have any shooting badges. <clears throat> Hopefully he gets some shooting badges with his upgrade to those. And that, I mean, if that's, if, if not, you know, that's not good. His release, his release should, should be okay too, I guess. Hopefully. He gets gold tech and shoot and gold corner specialist. So that's, that's better. That's good. So he has an, he'll get an 88 three-pointer once you make all them, uh, all, all 10 of those threes and get up to a ruby. Which won't be hard, just play triple threat, you know, it, don't, don't worry about going into, um, what they call domination and being bored, because I thought about it, uh, when I was eviling up and I'm like, man, I, I just don't want, I just want to play triple threat because, you know, you're not locked into, like, a long game for 20 minutes or however long, and, uh, it's, you know, you're just playing domination to play a domination game. You're not going for anything, you know. You're just basically there to evo your card. So, dual touch and shoot and dual corner specialist. That that makes this a little bit better. It makes it a lot better, actually. Uh, and 85 mid, that's really good, too. Uh, I don't think... I didn't look, to be honest. Um, but I know it was low to begin with. Yeah, 62 three-pointer... Uh, not very good dunker, okay free throw, he can speed boost, okay, that's better. Um, he has okay defense, I guess, um, pretty athletic. Um, yeah, he's, he's a pretty solid card, I don't know, for 950 MT, that's not bad of a card. 6-6 six, six point guard, that's not, that's not bad. I, 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 I would, I, I could probably do this if I wanted to, but I don't really care. Um, next we got Martel Fultz. Ruby goes up to a probably either a Ruby or an Amethyst. Um, 17 gold badges. Ooh, Diamond is a big one. Consistent finisher, contact finisher. He's got some pretty good badges, not gonna lie. Bailout's a great. Flip draw uh, is a, a, a must. Yeah, pretty much any card without flip draw is yeah, pretty much unusable because. It, it's just it's just way too slow. 79 three pointers. So obviously, you probably don't have to be making some three pointers that you build him up. Um, 87 ball control. That's good. Um, pretty uh, pretty okay defense, I guess. No, pavement. Yeah, it's just it's not great defense, but I guess it's usable. He's pretty athletic. Um, but yeah, I guess that's Martel Fultz. I'm not gonna buy this one because I don't, I don't, I don't really care. Uh, DeAndre Jordan, I'll probably pick the, I'll probably, I'll, I'll probably get to do this one to see what it's, what it's like. Um, he has two Hall of Fame badges, Pogo Stick and Pick and Roller. Um, he has Lobster Finisher Gold. That's good. Intimidator, Moving Truck. Yeah, he seems pretty, pretty solid. Uh, this 
maybe this ruby might be better than the amethyst uh token token reward we have um still can't shoot to save his life which i guess is deandre jordan but you know it is what it is um pretty okay interior defense um pretty good vertical actually you know i'm not the one to buy this i don't want to waste my mt on this guy but yeah he's a pretty solid center if you're balling on a budget. Uh, Sean Livingston, if his release is not fixed from his uh, reward card, I don't know. Like it's, it's just not worth picking up in general. I don't think... Is that a diamond that's good? Clamps, Interceptor, that's all good. I don't think his uh, his reward card has Clit Draw, though. This one has Clit Draw, so that's good. Uh, post Hook, hmm, that's pretty decent. Um, he has a... Yeah, see, I don't understand. 45 three-pointer, but his mid is a 94. I don't understand. So you're probably going to have to make some threes to evil him up, which is going to be a pain in the butt. But, you know, it is what it is. 86 free throw, 84 ball control. So he can't even speed boost right off the rip, which I don't understand. But he is a 6-7 point guard, so I guess that's that's probably what they're what they're going for there is a 6-7 point guard. Uh, pretty good defensively. Especially when he's only guarding smaller guards. Um, he sits free throw. Uh, yeah, it's, I don't know. I I wouldn't I wouldn't see myself using the Sean Livingston to be honest because it's just not a good card in 2K. Tony Allen is up to a diamond. That's crazy. Okay, so let's see his stats when he's a diamond. Actually, let's go here. And because this diamond one is about to expire. Ooh, he gets an 86 three-pointer. That is good. That is good. Does he he has all the defensive, uh, defensive Hall of Fame defensive badges. Uh, oh wait, never mind. He doesn't have all of them. But he has some of them. That's that's good. That's all we care about. He just catch and shoot, contact finisher, difficult shots. What? All right, Tony Allen might be a beast of a card. He can speed boost too. Oh wow. That is crazy. Dude, why does he become so goaded when he becomes a diamond? This is this guy is better than a lot of pink diamonds I use I've used this year. Holy crap. That's crazy. I like this card. This card is good. I like that card. Um and it looks like his Samethos is not going for that much. Like it's going for like maybe twenty K. Nineteen? Yeah, his Okay, so he has six to start off anyway. Um this Hall of Fame to start off anyway, so yeah, he looks like a beast. Oh wow, he looks like a beast of a card. I don't think, yeah, he does, it doesn't look like he gets any badge upgrades, though. It looks like it's all in his stats, to be honest. But you know, that's it's still a beast, a beast of a card. Um, to go from a what was what was he an 80 86 3 from a 72 and even 72 is high for Tony Allen. I figured you know Tony Allen wasn't gonna be Wasn't gonna be uh, shooting that well, but hey here. We are two day um, Yeah, he's got he's not shooting badges. He doesn't have range extender though, which I Guess is not the end of the world, but for because you're not gonna be like spotting up like, He's not gonna be your main spot up scorer like he's gonna be like in the corner space in the floor and he's just gonna happen to be you know open at times so, yeah, that's, that's, uh, he's a good card. He looks like he's gonna be a good card. For 30k, I buy the diamond. I don't know. He did Turtleloo. Um, I'm not, I don't know. I'm a little bit of a fan of he do, but uh, I really, I really liked his aim since last year. That was a beast. Um, I bet, he, I bet he becomes a beast when he evos up as well. I know he gets, uh, Hall of Fame range descender. Oh, he has it already at the Amethyst. That's pretty big. That's going to be huge, though. Uh, so he's got five Hall of Fame badges. Um, they're all shooting, really. So, yeah, that's 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 pretty good. Is that Dimer? Why does he do Turtle to have Dimer? What? Whatever. Okay. Teardropper? I don't know. That, 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 that he looks pretty good. 94-3. 86 free throw. Pretty okay defense. 
Yeah, he looks, he looks like he's gonna be a beast. And I mean, he gets either of these gonna be even better. So, there's he certainly. This is uh, one that really intrigued me was uh, DeAndre Ayton. Um, I'm not even gonna go over his stats in Amethyst because it's just, I don't know, I feel like it's kind of a waste, but actually, you know what? I will. I will. For the sake of this video, I will. Um, he's got seven Hall of Fame badges, which are like all the post. Uh, post Hall of Fame badges and defense badges. 17. Actually, you know what? I can do this. Well, let's go. So it goes from 17 gold to 26 gold. When he becomes a diamond. And But it, it is a pain uh, when he. to get him to a diamond because you have to make 23s to get him up to a diamond. And when he's an amethyst, it's, he has a 63 pointer with. Uh, no shooting badges to my knowledge To my knowledge he doesn't have any So at that point Domination on pro is your best friend so Yeah, that was a pain because I don't know why but I couldn't I just didn't run pitch and pops to save my life when I was doing this so I just had to jack up shots and Hope they went in but yeah, he, he becomes a really good stretch for on top of the fact that he's already a really good interior post player. So, yeah, I definitely worth picking up. I, I think I got mine for like... No, I want to say like 25, 30k. I probably will take an L by now, but... Uh, yeah, it is what it is. So, next we have Rondo. I've heard he's a beast, but I, I don't really see Rondo being all that. I don't know. From the looks of it... He goes from 22 gold badges to 31, and gets one more Hall of Fame badge when he upgrades. Um, so, like, yeah, I, I'd still, I'd still take this rose over him. To be honest, it, it's he, it's not that he's a bad card. It's just I don't know. He, and he can't dunk. He can shoot. And, and another thing, why in the world? I like I like Hall of Fame Intimidator and Clams and all that. Why in the world does he have gold range extender on a Rondo? He has there's no business to be giving this man gold range extender, QT, but uh, you know, you gotta love it, you gotta love it, you gotta love it. Uh yeah, it's that's ridiculous. But yeah, Rajon Rajon Rondo seems to be pretty good card. I I would pick him up, but I, I just don't see him being worth it right now, at least. Uh, like, I don't know if he's a buy now or not. No, he's... Oh, well, he might be, because that was... No, yeah, he's a buy now. Okay, never mind. Yeah, he seems pretty good. But this guy right here, DeMar freaking DeRozan, man. He is a beast of a card. I don't want to say he's buried in T-Map, because it'll make a lot of people upset, but... He is... He's pretty close, in my opinion... He's not better, but he's close. But it's pretty, uh... I mean, it's pretty easy if you're if you're open. But, it, I mean, I wouldn't, I wouldn't like, jack up shots from half court or nothing uh, with him if he's not a pink diamond with gold range, range of center. But, yeah, he's, he's a beast. This, this card is a beast. He's in my starting lineup for a reason right now because he is a beast of a card. Like, oh my god. Like, I thought the one last year was good. This time, this one is ten times better. I paid 170k for this diamond, and now he's 120k. Oh my goodness, I'm so upset. That makes me upset. Now, these two... I don't know about Bob Pettit, but this guy, Gilbert Arenas... If he doesn't like the one last year, he's gonna be a beast, because... See, he's got all of the badges. Just an incredible, incredible card. Not worth 250 k though, in my opinion. I mean, he might be. I'm not worth 200 k I paid 200 k for him. But just a beast of a card, man. Holy crap. Let's see, he's got 95-3, 96 mid, 95 driving done. Obviously, don't need a standing done. 95 ball control. God, just a beast of a card, man. Like, why? Why is he so dirty? I, Gilbert Arenas was okay, like, his, his, his release is alright, I liked it better last year, 
to be honest. But base 11 this year isn't really like, you know, all that like it was last year. And it wasn't even all that for me last year. I thought it was just, I didn't really care for it. I, I thought it was kind of dumb to be honest. Like there were better shots last year that I preferred over base 11. But, uh, I mean, base 11 wasn't terrible. But it, it, I, I was not really a fan of it. Uh, Bob Pettit. I haven't used this card. Um, I know he's got base 11 as well, at least from what I've seen. Um, 96 three-pointer. So it looks, uh, he looks, he looks pretty good. Like he looks real good. Um, he goes up to a pink diamond, uh, cause I know, I know Shake and Bake, uh, he, he actually, um, posted a picture. I think you believe it was a Bob Pettit. And he didn't go up to a opal from a pink diamond, so uh, keep that in mind when you uh, when you buy him. I guess if you buy him, uh, but yeah, he looks he looks to be a beast of a card that can shoot and stretch the floor. Pretty good on uh, defense too. I mean, you know, average on defense. Pretty good interior defense actually. Uh, pretty good rebounder. Wait, how tall is he? Six nine. Oh my goodness. Can he run the three? No, he can't run the three. Okay, so you're you're running a undersized four. I don't know if you'd ever run him at the center. But you know what what it's what it is what it is. So that is it for the video. Uh I guess I'll show you my updated lineup. Um But that is what my updated lineup looks like. I can't really I mean I guess I put, I would play DeMarcus Cousins, or I played Kareem over uh, DeMarcus Cousins because I'm trying to Evo him up to a pink diamond. Dwight, I think I'm done with. Kevin Durant, I'm done with. Uh, now I'm he's there because I don't want a backup point guard you know, off right now, but I'll eventually get one. Um, if I get Arenas, I'd probably put Arenas at the... Maybe it's a two or the one, and then put Rose in whatever position he doesn't he doesn't run at, and then keep Demar there. Cause I like Demar better than Levine right now, but I, sh I don't know. I really I like them both really. Like to be honest, because I don't know they feel they feel the same uh, in a way, but I don't know. And and I really like Demar because he feels like T Mac, but he's not T Mac. He's like a great value version of T Mac, but it's like he feels the same. He doesn't play the same because Team on it. I obviously has better animations and stuff. But you know, Demar Derozan is not 400k and not locked into a set. I mean, he's in a set for somebody, and that is actually I'm. Gonna, he's in a set for uh, Bill Russell, Pink Diamond. So I guess I'll show you that right now. I don't have the cards, so I can't show you. But not to look on. It's, it's on YouTube. I know there are gameplays out there. <clears throat> But when you build up this Bill Russell, just a 93 pointer, which is just fake because I don't. Bill Russell didn't have a three pointer back then when he when he played. But last year, if it, his release was really good last year, so if it's like last year, yeah, he's gonna be a beast of a target. I don't see why not. Uh, I just don't like locking in sets because I've already bit the bullet <laughs> for some reason when I when I when I when, when uh, the game first came out and this and this freaking Garnett set came out. And I was like, oh yeah, 50 tokens is going to be so worth it. No. No, it came back to bite me. But I figured since I have all the cards, I might as well start on these spotlight challenges. Just, just for an extra something to do. So, yeah, once you guys, thank you guys for watching. Have a nice day. I'll see you in the next video. Peace out, everybody.